Hey guys, I'm Dr. Deuce and welcome back. Now today's video is all about getting your mixes sounding nice and loud. It's not about mastering, although some of the techniques I'll be showing you relates to mastering. It's for when you want to sort of demo your track in your car or on your home hi-fi or on your phone after you've completed your mix but prior to mastering. In my video on gain staging as well as my other video on setting levels to avoid distortion we looked at creating an overall balanced mix and allowing a certain amount of headroom for mastering. This of course means your mix is not going to be that loud when you bounce it down to a stereo file. Now what I'm going to show you today will really help you to get your levels up nice and loud so you can reference your track prior to mastering. Now if you haven't already watched the videos on gain staging or setting appropriate levels, make sure you do so. Links will appear on the screen at some point. It's important to note that although these techniques are demonstrated in Logic Pro X, the principles apply to any digital audio workstation platform that you're working in. So let's get into it. Okay, so here's a track I did a few weeks back. All the leveling is pretty much done and I'm pretty happy with the mix so far. Um, so let's just show you what we've got in terms of output. Okay, so as you can see, um, this right here is one of your logic uh, level meters. It's just a standard logic plugin. Um, if I was to go here, you'll see it under metering, you will see it right here, level meter. Okay, so we're just monitoring the output on the master stereo bus. And you can see everything here has been switched off. We're peaking at minus 7.3. I tend to monitor pretty low when I'm mixing. If I, like I said in my previous videos, if I need to hear the mix louder, I just turn my amp up. Um, so, and that's what I encourage you to do. Turn up the listening device rather than over boosting the uh, channels in your mix. Now this whole video is to show you not so much about mastering, but how to get a nice punchy loud mix out of your digital audio workstation. On this occasion, it's Logic, of course. So first of all, in my chain, I've got a compressor. Um, I've got the Logic emulation of the SSL G series compressor. It's a bus compressor. And I've got it on the master bus over here. Um, the settings are just very, very basic. I've set this just so it catches the peaks of the mix. There's very little in terms of makeup gain. Look, I've got 0 0.5 five db of makeup gain and over here i've always got this switch to the soft distortion setting so let's play that back so you can see the difference look at the meters as well here and over here and i'll switch between uh, soft distortion and off so you can hear the differences Okay, so I'm quite happy with that. There's a little bit of pumping there, but I'm cool with that. I, I quite like that sound for this particular track. The next thing in the chain is the exciter. And this is Logic Standard Exciter. And what it does, what the exciter does, it adds additional harmonics into the mix, okay? So I'm gonna hit the bypass and I'm gonna switch it on and off and have a look again at the meters. The level meter we're looking at sits at the very end of the chain, okay? So you'll see um, the impact the exciter is actually ha having.
Okay, so as you can see, in terms of the overall level, this makes the mix wider and brings out more of those higher harmonics. So you adjust here to find that spot that really appeals to you, okay? So it really kind of brightens up the um, the, the track. Let's, one, let's hit it one more time. So you get that additional level of definition. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna add is this device. And this here is a free download. Now this is a limiter. And uh, what a limiter does in a mix, it allows you to bring up the overall average level or gain in your mix. And this one is modeled on the Waves L1 limiter. And uh, that, I mean, the Waves uh, limiters are well-renowned and awesome to use. Um, however, this one does a fantastic job. Um, there is a link in the description uh, for you to be able to grab this for free. It's real simple to use. Let's actually start here. Um, I generally have a ceiling of minus 0.3 dB. So this is the maximum gain I want to be showing in my master level meter. And the next thing you do is you play the track back and you adjust the threshold by sliding this down until you've reached the level that you're happy with and the punch that you're happy with and you're done. So let's try that. Okay, so you can hear the massive difference this makes. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna put this here. So these are our two level meters. Ignore the uh, noise gate for now because um, that's more for cutting an effect. Um, so this one is before, this one is after the limiter. And you can see the change in gain between the two stages, okay? Okay, so as you can see, I'll switch things on and off all the way through here. So you've got your compressor, your exciter, uh, these and the level uh, meters, they're all Logic Native plugins. Again, in whatever door you're using, you're gonna have the same tools in there and you'll be able to use the same principles as I've done. The only difference is you can download this free W1 limiter, link is in the description, so grab that. Um, and just adjust your threshold. I normally keep this um, switched on, the adaptive release. And of course, you can overcook this by 
giving this a bit too much, but you know, you slide it until you feel you reach the level that you're happy with and it's sounding nice and punchy. And um, your mix is going to sound a lot louder and a lot more in your face than before. Um, and as you can see down here, look at my mixer, look at all my levels. My levels are, you know, everything's pretty low. So remember to have these both at Unity Gain 0.0, .0 and you do all the work in here. Okay guys, I hope you've gained something from this tutorial. Now remember to check the description for the link to the W1 limiter which is absolutely free. And just to let you know, the track that you were just listening to is something I'm gonna be putting out fairly soon. And I'll hit you up with the release date when this one drops. So make sure you have your notifications switched on. So just like the rest of the MTTC squad, I'll be able to inform you whenever a new video drops. Anyway, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Dr. Deuce, peace.